Good day, everyone. Ali Safi here from Safi Financial Network. Today is February 8, 2024. Here is another daily analysis. We had a very, very, I should say, um, indecisive day. So even based on the price action, you see that the doji pretty um, narrow bar here. Um, no a movement in the market happened just today. And volume, let me check out the volume because I believe that volume was not that decent. Yes, 52 million SPY, which shows uh, 52 million is pretty light. So that's why we got the doji bar, low volume, nothing spectacular. Basically, we can't do any analysis today for just today's price action. So I don't know if it's going to be another um, consolidation for the next rally or kind of like a reversal to the downside uh, prior to the next rally. So um, I should say, as I said before, bull is not over. The bull market is here and it's going to be here for a while. So we are just waiting for a corrective move for a next buying opportunity. So when correction is not coming, I'm not going to be buyer at this environment. I know that lots of people are saying, hey, you're just telling us the correction is coming probably beginning of January. Yes, beginning of the January, we had corrective move, but nice rally afterwards. Market has stretched too far too fast, basically, uh, since October bottom. And this is not the environment that I'm trading and investing. So I keep invested. I have full position invested and actually... Uh, it's been a good a good year so far. So if you just uh, look at the value stocks, especially, uh, for example, at Disney, we had Disney earning um, just yesterday and yesterday just uh, went after hours up 7% today, just went up nicely. And this is weekly chart for Disney. And as you see here, we just break out this um, ending diagonal formation. And right now, Disney is just heading to for a nice rally. I should say this rally can end up to 117 to 124. The first uh, kind of like, uh, I should say for the first um, uh, resistance area. But if it consolidates here, I should say 130, even 140, like even to 150 is coming down there. So this is the level that I'm looking for Disney. But as I said, uh, we had a nice uh, pop for Disney today. And we just allocated lots of uh, Disney shares, especially in this ending diagonal formation. So um, myself and subscribers just that uh, took benefit of good earning. And right now I'm just looking for more upside is coming for Disney. As I said, the potential scenario is going to be 130 to 140. That's going to be the area that I'm looking for, especially in months of February, um, April to June. So you should see some kind of like a pullback corrective move, but that's going to be very, very shallow, I should say, because Disney is already oversold. Um, so yeah, lots of good uh, stocks actually are in a good place right now. There are lots of good buying opportunity, but people are just looking at um, S&P 500 and NASDAQ index, which uh, just... Uh, went up all the way, kind of like a moonlight to the sky. And uh, because of several stocks, like a big techies and semiconductors were the big run for this rally, but a lot of uh, good heavy value stocks, they are just beaten up and they're just going down. Disney was one of them and there are the other ones that I share with my subscribers as well. So here's the NASDAQ. NASDAQ, let me go to the daily chart. Here's the NASDAQ. Um, daily chart and daily chart, you see that momentum in uh, MACD is pretty fallen. Like, look at that. So MACD is down, RSI is down, stochastic, we're just getting another bear reversal corrective move. But we're just the same higher high, higher low. And uh, right now, if market, I mean, NASDAQ goes down below 17,000, then we should see some kind of like a corrective move all the way down to um, 16,000 to 15,800. But after that, I'm not sure about it. So we will see how it goes. Uh, moving on to Dow Jones, which was kind of like mixed uh, for Dow. Um, compared to the other ones, actually Dow performed better. Disney was one of the good ones. But um, we had some negative names as well in the Dow uh, today just that traded. For example, Healthcare, Johnson & Johnson, they were down and the other names as well. So energy, 
uh, we had a mixed session for energy. And uh, right now, and banks also, they were negative. So that's why Dow had like a mixed, a mixed, very, very mixed basket today. So the Doji bar, like the other indexes, uh, it is overbought, overstretched, and I'm looking for um, kind of like a corrective move, especially February, March, I should say, is going to be a correction, and then we will move uh, to the next buying opportunity. Moving on to crew, uh, gold, gold just uh, coming down, challenge this trend line, coming back up again, 2030. So that's the level for gold right now. So it's kind of like a forming a nice shadow here. This is kind of like a compression in this triangle. Any either breakout could be spiky. So I should say um, that people should be patient. I'm kind of like a bullish bias. Even if it if it goes down, I should say this is the area that I'm looking for as a like um, washout low and then move up to new all-time highs. So um, I don't know if it's going to be just the compression and breakout to the upside or coming down to this level and then move fast to the upside. But either case, I'm bullish on gold, especially second half of this year. And I should say April after, we should see some kind of like a good momentum with gold. Moving on to crude, uh, which kind of like um, a positive today. So nice move to the upside for crude. And uh, this is kind of like a short term bounce, I should say. So crude can have maybe higher high to just uh, get above these highs and getting to this supply area, which is going to be 80 to 82. And then it can go down afterwards. So I'm kind of like a bearish long term but short term. As I said, when we got this doji bar, I said, yeah, daily cycle shows kind of like a bottoming formation and we should see some kind of like a rally is coming. Today rally for crude was amazing. So we'll give crude benefit of doubt. Moving on to individual names, starting with Bitcoin. Bitcoin, nice rally after this consolidation. We got a nice rally. I should say this rally can continue. And, uh, and I was kind of like uh, waiting for this area, still looking for this area. Not sure exactly what's the timing, but I'm kind of like assured that Bitcoin will have a good corrective move for the next buying opportunity. So I was waiting for this one to get down here, but it didn't. So the potential scenario is going to be we're just getting to this area, 47 to 49,000, and then coming back down. So Bitcoin, remember that Bitcoin, we are pretty close to new all-time highs. So this is pretty interesting to see. Um, actually, I was wrong. So <laughs> to the higher high. New all-time high is going to be at 69 um, and 70,000. Right now, we are at 47,000. I'm moving on to crude. Um, sorry, yield yield had a pop today. So yield just before CPI announcement, forming a nice bullish consolidation. So here is the level. And also, we can go to this level as well. So this is going to be a second target. So if yield consolidates here, breakout could be very, very spiky. It can go to 4.80, which is going to be February 13th, which is going to be next week's CPI. Everyone needs to keep an eye on this. Treasury coming down today and yield is up. Treasury is down. I should say this is ABC corrective move down to here. VIX had a nice uh, down tick today. I should say this is going to be a bottoming formation for the next move, nice move to the upside. Because if CPI comes spiky, I should say VIX and Dixie and also yield can go higher. Dixie move up today. So 84 cents up. Not a bad session. Actually, eight cents up. Sorry. Um, not a bad session. Uh, working in this bullish consolidation. So if this consolidation forms more, I should say we can get a 105.50 for Dixie right now. I'm not sure even if we get above this one. So probably that's going to be the last spike for Dixie. Moving on to Magma indicator, which was kind of like a negative today. Um, 94 cents down. Not a bad session. Still holding up there, but Apple, look at that. So this is going to be technology, I should say, leading indicator. When it goes down, technology will follow it. Um, two, three days after, when it goes higher, technology will follow this one as well. So Apple is down, dollar nine cents down today. Amazon, 69 cents down. A bullish consolidation, but seems like rejection is there. Meta, 41 cents up, not a bad price action. Um, and uh, Microsoft, a six cents up, um, not a bad price action today. Um, so still holding up for now, but 
I should say if it goes below 397, it can go all the way down to here. So we'll see. We'll see how it goes. Uh, moving on to Google, uh, 37 cents up today. Um, Google can go higher to this uh, gaps to these gaps here, 148, 149, but I'm not sure more than that. Netflix uh, down today is 77 cents. Tesla dollar 98 cents up. So Tesla is kind of like forming a good bullish momentum, I should say. So just keep an eye on this. We had this signal for Tesla, and I should say this one can go higher if it goes above this 196, 207 is coming down the road. So Tesla can go higher to this level as well. Uh, moving on to um, semiconductors as a match, a new all-time high, even after hours, it goes higher. So um, SMH is forming pretty nice bullish momentum. Uh, SOX are coming up today again. Taiwan Semiconductor was the most beneficiary here. So look at that. This is amazing. So I don't know exactly what's happening with this. Uh, I don't know. Good news are uh, supposed to be good news, but this is kind of like a parabolic move to the upside. This is an exhaustive move, and it can challenge a new all-time high here, but I'm not sure after that. So money is rotating between different stocks in semiconductors. Why AMD is down, why AM NVIDIA is down today. So new all-time high coming down again, uh, but Taiwan Semiconductor was up. Lam um, Texas Instrument up today as well. So Texas, this is a forming a bearish consolidation, but seems like this can have a pop to 164. I'm not sure after that for the short term. A Lam Research uh, moving up again today. $15, not a bad price action. Moving on to XL. Yeah. XLF, which is a financial energy bullish consolidation here, 15 cents loss today, but not a bad session at all. Uh, KBE uh, coming back up today, 13 cents up. KRE 19 cents up, and not a bad session. JP Morgan 63 cents down today. Goldman Sachs dollar 62 cents down. Bank of America six cents down. Wells Fargo 13 cents down. These sector needs to have a corrective move. I should say I'm just waiting for a correction for this sector because this sector can be outperformer this year. Gold miners uh, coming down today, but not not big move. Uh, 16 cents for GDX, still holding up this 27 area. GDXJ, 17 cents down. AEM, 33 cents down. AEM going down and then hit this area. So I should say this is very, very important level for AEM, so buyers can buy here. New months are coming down here, uh, 31 cents down. Franco Nevada going up. So Franco Nevada seems like holding up pretty well. So I should say Franco Nevada, if it goes again, um, 114, that's gonna be a good level for buy. Gold Barrick, 11 cents down today. Um, not a good action, but I'm not sure if it goes below this area. So we will see. XLE, which is financial energy, moving up to the 86 cents up. Following up crude, uh, XOP going back up. So look at that. So this is kind of like a lower, 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 lower high. And right now we are just uh, within this uh, downtrend. OH coming back up again. So this is, as I said, is forming a W pattern. I don't know if it goes above uh, 308 or not. Exxon. Dollar 70, 75 cents up, not a bad session. Chevron, dollar 93 cents up, not a bad session at all. So it goes to this high. Chevron can go to 160 to 162. So we will see how it goes. All right. Um, tomorrow is going to be a weekly candle, important, especially before CPI. We will see how it goes. But I should say everyone needs to be careful at this environment. Correction is coming, and this correction could be a fantastic buying opportunity. Have a wonderful evening. See you in the chart. Bye-bye.